stay tuned today and see how easy it is to make the dolls in your dollhouse some cute little Easter baskets so they can go on an Easter egg hunt too. Are made of embroidery floss. It's like you use for any embroidery project. Um, this is pretty inexpensive at the craft store, in the fabric store. You can get this a lot of places. I think even my um, my grocery store even has some on there, a little limited craft aisle. And I have a piece of doweling. This is just a piece of, it's like it's about a half inch, three eighths of an inch, however big you want your basket. Uh, and I've cut just a piece off. I'm going to make two baskets on this little piece of dowel. So I'm trying to stay under the camera. I've got my camera set at a little different place because I changed tables in my craft room. So now I've got to learn what I'm doing again. This is just a piece of plastic wrap uh, like you use in the kitchen. Now I've cut a little, little chunk of it and I'm just kind of rolling this up kind of like you'd roll up uh, like an egg roll or a burrito or something. I'm going to get the ends flat. And I'm just using the small hair tie. I just want to anchor the middle of it. You can make two baskets on this little piece of wood. And then this, I have two pieces of, this is just actually balsa wood that's about the same size as my dowel is in diameter. Little short pieces and I've wrapped them up with some plastic wrap. You'll see why in a minute. The other thing we need, it's not this one, is some glue. We need tacky glue. Or Elmer's glue or whatever glue. I actually made this one, a little pink one, made with Mod Podge. So anything, although it wasn't, the Mod Podge wasn't strong enough to glue the handle in. Alright, and we need a wet wipe. You're going to need a wet wipe for this one. So, we are going to start by running some glue, saturating the end of this. This is where it gets a little messy. And we are going to, once you fiddle with it, you're going to make a curly cue. We're going to roll it around and around. And what we're making is this little disc. Try not to have, try to have the the floss up against itself, but I find it's easier to do this on my finger than on the end of the dowel. I tried a couple of these yesterday before I got them the way I wanted them. And it doesn't have to be perfectly round, and when you find your fingers getting too sticky, wipe them off. It's about the size, oh, I can go a little bigger yet. And if you don't have glue on the whole piece of floss, it's okay. We can have holes. We're going to paint some more glue over this before we're done. There. I'm going to kind of push it off your finger and onto the end of the dowel. It's a good time to wipe your fingers off. All right. Now, we're going to wrap this around and we're just going to wrap it around and around and we're trying to get up on the sides of the dowel. Am I still on camera? And I do like to cut some of the floss off of the skein. I don't like to work with it attached to the long piece. I like to work with a short piece. It's just easier. And if you feel like you've missed some spots, go ahead and kind of spiral back down again. And wipe your fingers off. Cut this off. And just rub more glue. 
Try and make sure that the top is pretty even, although we can trim it. Now this just needs to dry. Set that on there. And off camera, I'll put some more floss. Well, I guess I'll just set it like that. I'll put some more floss on the other end and make another basket on the other end. Now, a handle. I'm going to take a small piece of floss. And we are, we're going to waste some, but that's okay. Like I said, this is really cheap. We're going to coat this. I'm making this really coated in glue. I need a little more glue. Not a lot. We're just going to do a little bit more. I like to twist my... What we're making now is the handle. And this can be a bigger piece, as long as it's not too much wider than your basket. This is how we're making our handle. Now we're going to twist it together. The reason we've got plastic on both these pieces of wood, it keeps our glued floss from getting attached to the wood. So don't forget the plastic. And now these need to dry. And after they dry once, I'm going to come back and put another coat of the same glue. Whatever glue I'm using, I'll put another coat of glue with my finger all over the floss. When that second coat of glue is dry, I'll come back and we'll finish the basket. All right, this is now dried actually overnight, so it's plenty dry. I put a second coat of glue onto both baskets, and this is the second one I did. I did this one on camera. This is the other one. I used a, a really pretty pastel variegated floss. So now we need to very carefully work this off. And it's going to stick to the plastic. It may, we may have to score the plastic with scissors or a knife and then pull it out. There, I'm going to twist it. And there it comes. There we are. We've got a little glue to cut off. Now, kind of twist. All right, so now I just need to trim up this glue. This is actually just glue sticking up on the top. Now you could use these baskets this way. And this is just one way to make baskets. I'll show you other ways to make baskets in future videos. But these would work for little baskets, just the way they are. But now we're going to add the handles to make our um, Easter baskets. So here's this one. And again, I let this dry overnight. I put a second coat of glue on it because I want this to be really stiff. I want it to hold up and stand up in the basket. And it's going to try and stick to the plastic, but the plastic it can pull off of. If we hadn't put the plastic on, it would stick to the wood and it would be pretty much impossible to get off. There we go. Trim this glue off, because we don't want any extra glue, especially up here on the top. then, right where it joins together down here where it was twisted, cut through, there, and we have one hand. Let's work this one off the same way. Now if I was going to do this for um, a larger doll, I, think I would probably make the baskets obviously on a bigger form. Um, you can make Barbie size and I think to do Barbie size I think I would actually braid three pieces of the embroidery floss together or at least twist two so you had it thicker. And if you want to do American Girl I think you could probably use oh like the bottom of a glue bottle and wrap that with plastic and then use probably a yarn or some kind of string. Alright, so now we have these cut. We'll take our glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fill the bottom of the basket with some glue. And then I'm also, let's make sure I'm on camera, 
Like, where's the camera? I'm going to put this like this. And the next part is only tricky because I'm on camera. If I'm not on camera and not trying to stay where you guys can see, it's a lot, it's really easy. Hopefully I can get it in and keep it on camera. Now, very carefully put this in. And if you want a taller handle, just use a bigger piece of wood. And just push that glue that we put on the side up. I think I should have probably used a little bit more handle so I can pull it out and just glue it on the sides then. There, just make the ends down. If you want a round handle, you could have used your dowel to uh, wrap your handle around. But I kind of like a square handle. All right, this one I'm going to pull up just a little more. So I'm not, oops, just going to put glue on this. I'm not going to put it on the bottom of the basket because I'm going to place this up a little higher. A little more handle than that. And I like to use my tweezers to really push this into the basket. And once the glue is dry and this is on, now the only tricky part here, by the way, is you want to make sure your handle is straight across from itself. So you want to kind of double check from the top. Uh, once that glue dries, I would suggest putting a little bit more glue where the basket handle joins the basket, but that's all there is to it. You can make a whole bunch of these for the kids in your dollhouse. Use different sizes of dowels. So you have slightly different sizes of baskets, use different colors of um, floss, and you can make a whole store full of Easter baskets for your dolls in your dollhouse. I hope you enjoyed this project. Come back next week and see what we make then. Be sure and check out the blog post. There will be more details there. And if you haven't found us on Facebook, be sure and look for us there. The link's in the description box below this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.